Good afternoon. The headlines from BBC Look North this Tuesday lunchtime. A dentist from Hull is accused of encouraging someone to drug his wife. And could millions of pounds have been closed and are completely impassable? A lot of the problems down to uh, the high winds driving snow off a lot of these fields through any gaps in the hedges, and you see drifts coming right across the roads. Some villages have been entirely cut off. Big. This particular Tyrannosaur might only be a baby, but it's five metres long from snout to tail, and it's got a total of 42 razor sharp teeth. It's right behind me, isn't it? Hey! <laughs> Some of the children here were a bit braver and had a go at stroking the dinosaur. He tried to. Yeah. You tried to stroke its tail? Yeah. And what did it do? He tried to bite. I, I kept running. Can I give you one of our newsletters to have a look at when you get home? Thank you. Thank you. Kersley first, bring a bit of sunshine on this grey day. Maureen's <laughs> new to politics. Have you heard a bit of Falmouth and Kersley first? Have a look, see what I'll you think. It, yeah. Do you want one? No. But she's tenacious and committed. Don't run away from me. Can I give you one of our leaflets, our newsletters? Have a look at. Do you follow local politics at all? Not really. No. Bear us in mind come May next time, won't you? Good. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, talking to public has never been a problem for me. I've lived in Farnworth and Kersley all of my life. It reported back this week and recommended three options. Cancelling the contract, rewriting the contract or keeping things as they are and demanding further changes. And it said, if feasible, the preferred option should be option one, to cancel the contract. But this isn't the only street to make it into the Romance Top 10. There's another one in Lincolnshire. It's got a lovely name, Honeypot Lane. But this isn't it. This is Honeypot Lane. It might not have the look of Get up and dance with me. What's the issue? What is it? It just wouldn't be Friday night in Grimsby and Cleethorpes without a fair bit of booze. Hey, hey Mum! Hey, hey Mum! Hi! I've been good, but she's cold, man. Hi, Mum. Sorry. The police have to keep an eye on things, and as the night wears on, things get out of hand. It's it's Face then. I will rot your jaw sideways. I'll rot your jaw sideways. You got me in the f, man, ain't you? Yes. Yeah, drive in a minute. Yeah, drive in your f. Andy has more on this and the rest of the sport. Andy's here now, Matthew. Thanks, Peter. Yeah, it's been a rough season for Grimsby Town, hasn't it? But they're just one win away now from salvaging survival in League Two. A 1 0 win away at playoff chasing Swindon last weekend moved them tantalisingly close to safety. Can they get the job done tomorrow? After a difficult season... A well, today in the depths of winter, the Caribbean carnival seems a million miles away from here. But every summer when the carnival comes round, this place is transformed and trading stalls are a big part of the carnival. The carnival website advertises plots for between £500 and £650 for the weekend. Now, the council sent staff down here in 2017 and they counted a total of 127 trading plots. Now, 127 stalls at just £500 each would bring in around £60. £3,000. The carnival says they made around £28,000 from stalls that year. So why the big difference? Bobby, that's just about all from the lunchtime team. Peter will be back with you for the evening programme at 6.30. In the meantime, you can keep up to date with all your latest news, sport and weather on BBC Radio Humberside and Radio Lincolnshire. Have a great afternoon. Enjoy the sunshine. Bye-bye.